happen in the troposphere when increasing the altitude decrease the temperature then come to the stratosphere what happen in stratosphere so here altitude is increasing to 15 to 50 kilometers but temperature increases when increasing the altitude temperature also increases then mesosphere here what happened in mesosphere temperature has been decreased and the thermosphere again temperature has been increased so there are differences according to the layer okay let's discuss what are the reasons for these temperature differences in different layers okay come to this one troposphere in the troposphere the, there are land and sea so here there are land and sea we live in land so because of the sun's heat the land and sea get heated here land and sea get heated so in near to the land the temperature is increasing because of sun's heat when increasing the height the temperature is decreasing okay then what happened in stratosphere you know our ozone layer ozone layer is in the stratosphere so in ozone layer absorb the uv rays in sunlight so we have discussed this thing in previously ozone layer is in the stratosphere this ozone layer absorb ultraviolet rays so because of that thing temperature increases in the stratosphere then come to the mesosphere this is mesosphere what will happen in mesosphere here the temperature is decreasing when increasing the altitude so reason is there are few very few amount of ozone gases in this layer to absorb uv rays from the sun so there is few amount of ozone gases to absorb sun's heat so that's why there is very low amount of heat in the mesosphere that means we call this layer as the coldest layer among the five layers the coldest layer is mesosphere the temperature is about minus 9 it's very cold it's colder than the Antarctic area of our Earth. Then come to the thermosphere. In the thermosphere you can see temperature is increasing. Because there are air particles in the thermosphere. These air particles absorb sun's heat. These air particles absorb sun's heat. So when, when near to the exosphere the temperature is increasing okay near to the exosphere the temperature is increasing further okay now you know how the temperature difference in different layers of the atmosphere so you should know what happened in these layers how the temperature is varying okay air and its components you know among five layers troposphere is the most important layer for us because we live in the troposphere so you should know what are the components in the troposphere so these are the components in troposphere and these are the volume of those components so we will discuss what are these components nitrogen nitrogen is most abundant gas these are the gases in the troposphere so nitrogen is most abundant one it is 78 percent then oxygen oxygen is 21 percent and there are also argon carbon dioxide water vapor and other gases nitrogen oxygen argon carbon dioxide water vapor and other gases are in the troposphere 
So, you can see nitrogen and oxygen are the most important gases in the troposphere. Nitrogen is 78 percentage and oxygen is 21 percentage. Then other carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases are 1 percentage. Okay. Let's go to the nitrogen. So nitrogen is most abundant gas in our troposphere. So this nitrogen has very low reactivity. That means it has very low reaction with other components under atmospheric condition. Then oxygen. Oxygen is the most important gas in the troposphere. That means oxygen is the most important gas in the air. Why? It is essential for our respiration. We breathe oxygen gas. And also oxygen is necessary for combustion. So therefore it is called as supporter of combustion. And also there are many uses of oxygen. So there are patients with respiratory difficulties. So we can give oxygen for these patients. And have you heard about oxyacetylene flame? This oxyacetylene flame used for welding and cutting metals. Then oxygen is very important for divers and astronauts. Uh, you have seen that they have taken oxygen tank when they are traveling. Divers and astronauts. Then argon. Argon is third most common gas. First one nitrogen, second one oxygen and third most common gas is argon. We call it as inert gas or a noble gas. That means nishkriya vayu. That means it does not have any chemical reaction with other elements. So this argon gas used for many purposes. To fill the filament bulbs. You have seen the filament bulbs. Inside these filament bulbs, there is argon gas. Then to produce electric lamps with emit orange color. To produce electric lamps which emit orange color. Then carbon dioxide, fourth one. You know it is essential for photosynthesis in green plants. Essential for photosynthesis. And also this gas is used to extinguish fire. Extinguish fire and it helps to maintain the temperature of our earth. So these are the important things of the gases in the troposphere. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases.